Okay, so I, how are you? Welcome back. Thank you. Okay. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you. So, are you located in Enugu right now? Where are you located? I'm in, in Canada. Okay. Canada. Oh, hey, what part of Canada? Uh, Alberta. 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 What is in Alberta? Okay, Alberta is where you have, um, if I'm not mistaken, that's where you have Edmonton. Edmonton is in Alberta, right? And Calgary. Okay, my best friend actually lives in Alberta. Um, so let's talk about you. How old are you? Take a guess. Uh, I don't like guessing because people look different age. So you tell me, how old are you? 37. You're 37. Okay, that's good. I'll, um, so I'll, do you go, do you go by old, hike? How old are you? I'm 43. 44, actually. 43. I don't know why I said 43. I'm 44. I think somebody that was 43 talked to me recently, age, but I'm 44. Age, but you know. You said? Age is a, a number. Oh, age is a number. And my age range for dating is 34 to, I want to say 55 or maybe 50. Just don't be, don't be too close to 60 because my mom, my mom right now is 66. I don't want to marry a man who's actually older than 56 because I don't want you to be too close to my mom's age than my own age. So my dating age range right now is 34 to 55. So you fit into my dating range. So let's talk about you. Um, can we talk about each other? No, let, no let's, well, actually, you can ask me any question you want about myself. But okay. I want to ask you some questions about you if that's okay with you. Is yeah. that okay with you? Okay. Yeah. All right. So I know that you go by Ike. I know you're in Alberta. What about Alberta? Do you mind sharing your city? Um, maybe privately. Okay. That's, that's fine. And that's absolutely fine. That's fine. You don't have to share anything you don't want to share. Because trust me, I understand that people are crazy on social media. So um, so what other questions do I have? Do you have kids? Do you have children? No. Do you want to have children? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So I'm a woman who don't want to have children. Oh, why yes, is that? I, I have two children, and that's enough for me. And I'm 44 years old. I want to enjoy life. I don't want to. I don't want to. Be, I don't want to be 65 and have a, a child in the house. Heck no. I don't even want to be 50 and have a child in the house. I've, oh, I've I... done my work. I'll, you know, I'm uh, nah. I'm done. I'm not going to labor room again. It's too hard. You're looking for someone who has kids already yes i'm looking for somebody who has kids already somebody who does who doesn't particularly want to be want to have biological children because there's some men i've i've talked to a couple of men who they don't really care about having biological children so you know that's that's someone that i can rock with but if you really want to have a biological child let's talk about you who knows your wife might be watching this video right now because i it looks like i'm not your wife because if you want a biological child i promise you i'm not your wife because I'm not having like I'm I'm somebody and let me tell you how much I don't want to have a child I'm somebody who, who right now I'm working I'm working I am doing business I'm trying to make a lot of money okay my biggest my biggest ambition in this world is to make one billion dollars the whole life the whole, whole work I'll do in this world everything one billion dollars if I make one billion dollars today I'm retired I will never do anything for work again I'll just enjoy it Okay, so until I make one billion dollars, I'll be working. But if somebody gave me one billion dollars right now, wait, sorry, hold on one second. Okay. If somebody gave me one billion dollars right now, I still wouldn't have a child. I just want to make sure that that message is passed across to you. Because I know men, a lot of men think they can marry a woman and like, ah, she's going to change her mind now. If she loves me, she can change my mind. No, nope, I will not change my mind. I'm not having that child. So what was the question you had for me? No, I I was just asking, like, how close are you to the billion dollars? So right now, if I don't increase my income um, and I keep investing at the rate I'm investing, I'm getting the average returns I'm getting on my investment, which is about 20, 25%. I'll be a billionaire by the time I'm 89 years old. So all the work I do is to increase my income so I can reduce the age when I become a billionaire. But if I don't increase my income right now, I'll be a billionaire at 89 years old. If I keep, you know, investing at the rate I'm investing, I'm getting 20, at least 20% of my investment every year. Oh, that's, that's it. Yeah. 
So, but I'm just telling you, that's I just want to make sure. So let's talk about you. So I can help you find your um, wife. I feel like okay. yeah, correct that. I want to help you find your wife. So let's talk about you. So you are 37. Yeah. Um, um, you are I. Um, so you say you're from Enugu State, uh -huh. right? So tell tell us about. You said you want to have children, right? You said you want to have children. Mm, one or two. So you want to have, have one or two children? Okay. So um, and so are you are you interested in getting married? So are you looking for a wife or just a long term relationship? Wife. And looking for a wife. Okay. Excellent. Um. So what's the age range of the wife you want to marry? What's the lowest age or the highest age of the wife you want to marry? Probably say from let's say 25 to 40. So from 25 to 40. Okay, that's a, that's a very good range. Tell me if you want to have children. 25 to 40 is good. Okay, so a wife 25 to 40, you, does she have to... That you're 44? I'm 44. Can you do like a 360 for me? What do you mean a 360? Like turn around, let me see um, what you look like. The one that's supposed to be checking what you look like, your, your future wife can see it. Why do you want to see what I look like, please? I, I, can... I, want, to, I want to see what you look like. <laughs> that's, that's, it's, it's hard. I have to push the camera maybe over here. Oh, wow. You're in shape. That's what I look like. Oh, wow. You're in shape. You're in shape. Thank oh. you. Oh. oh. Okay. So now that you're after that, I look like, now we have to ask what you look like so that your future wife can know. So like, can you can you do the same thing for us? Let's see what you look like. No, I'm not, I'm not doing for people. I'm coming up with you. No, no, no. If you're already established that I'm not your wife because you want biological children and it's not going to come from me. So let's go ahead. Do do a 360 because your future will be here. Don't lose your wife because you are trying to no, it, it depends. It depends. I'm not looking for people. I'm looking for you. I am telling you if you want to have biological children, you are wasting your time with me. Because if you give me a billion dollars right now and say just don't want child for me, I still will not do it. So I don't believe that. You can believe it, you cannot. I'm someone who tells the truth. I don't see any need to lie to anybody in this world. There's nobody worth lying to because I know I'm going to heaven. I don't, nobody is worth going to hell fire for. At what point did you come to the decision that you don't want? That's a very good question. So all my life, since I was born, I have never, ever desired to have biological children. When I was a child, I heard that, yes, I heard that, you know, childbirth is painful. And I don't like pain. So I was like, no. In fact, for many years, as a young woman, I prayed to God that every child he has planned for me, he should give it to those children, those women, who will stay miserable because they don't have children, because I don't want any of it. I prayed that prayer for many years. Many, many years. So when I got pregnant, it was really because, I, and let me tell you something. I've evolved over the years. As a young woman, nobody gave me sex education. So I, I really saw sex as a young woman as something you do if a man you love wants to do it. It never okay. occurred to me that I, as a woman, could want sex. And so when Whenever I engaged in sex, in relationships, boyfriend and girlfriend, it was because I didn't know any better. It took me years to re-educate myself, to teach myself sex education, to let myself know that my body is mine and I should only have sex when I want to have sex. That's one of the reasons why I talk to young women on social media, because a lot of women, nobody tells you that. I'm going to take it for granted. You're dating a guy, he says, oh, he wants to have sex, you go and have sex. I, I personally... As a woman, I didn't have an orgasm until I was like 33 years old. I had two children and never had an orgasm because it never occurred to me that I'm supposed to be enjoying sex. It wasn't, it wasn't something that I, I ever did for myself. And so when I got pregnant for both my children, it was like, like okay, well, I'm pregnant. Like, oh, I don't want to have, I don't want this thing. Go and I bought it. And I said, okay, I don't want to have an abortion. I don't want to go to hell. So I had my children, not because I had any desire to have children, but because I did not want to go to hell, because I wanted to make my relationship with God right. Were you previously married? No, never been married. Oh. Yes, never been married. 
both my children, both my wonderful things are in this world because God really wanted them to come here by me. I don't understand God sometimes. I was asking the guy, of all the women in this world, praying for you to them children, you come and give me. When I tell you, say, make you give, take all my eggs, give it to other people. I pray to that. I pray that prayer to God. So, so I've never ever wanted to have biological children. So at when I when I was now 30, I had my second son at 29. And then at that time, that pregnancy, that childbirth, in fact, I thought I was going to die when I was having my second child. That pregnancy was so terrible. That childbirth was so scary. I didn't want to do it again. But at that time, again, I was still an impressionable young girl. I didn't know myself as much as I know myself now. So I listened to people. Even at 30, after my second child, I said I would never have a child again. My mentor said, ah, shut up your mouth. How can you say that? Don't you want to marry? How about if you meet a man and he wants to have children? What, what about that? Since it's selfish, so you don't want to have a child. So in my 30s, I said, okay, I guess if I meet a man, I can have a child for him if he really wants a child. Hmm. I smile. I, I smile because that goes against what my mother taught me. My mother taught me that no woman should bet a child for a man. Because if you don't bet the child because you want it, it will be hard for you to be a parent as a woman. So let's pack that. But anyway, by the time I turned 35, I was now, hmm, this mentor, what did she talk? I'm not sure if she even do one again. But once I turned 40, oh, mm -mm, I sat on it that I don't care. Even if Jesus come back from now, they want to marry me. There's nobody. Even Jesus himself cannot make him another child. Because I'm already good with him. We have signed and sealed that. No other child is coming from this room. I won't even do surrogacy. After I turned, when I turned 40, I was still saying, mm, maybe I can do a surrogate, you know, just someone else have the baby. But now, I won't even let anybody have this my eggs. Let me ask you this. Uh, mm -hmm. what, what kind of man are you looking for? That's a very good question. I am looking for a man who is mentally and emotionally healthy. A man who understands understands the role of a husband as detailed by God himself. A man who understands that a husband is supposed to love their wife to the very best of their ability. And if they've never learned how to love, they need to look at Jesus to learn how to love. Because the Bible was clear when it says, husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. So a man who is willing to obey that law, that's number one. Number two, a man who is mentally and emotionally healthy. You have assessed yourself and you understand that your emotional health is good. You don't think that all women are so so and so. You are you're not carrying any emotional baggage. You come in with a free mind. A man who's mentally dead. Because me, yeah, I'm not a psychiatrist. And if you don't have mental health problem, let us let it be clear. You can be on your medication if you're functioning okay and I can see it okay. But don't come at me with all your mental health without even seeing psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. So a man who is self-aware. Self-awareness for me means knowing who you are. Because I don't need a perfect man. But I need a man who understands his flaws. Because I'm a Capricorn. I'm a very serious person. Oh, you're there Capricorn. Is, born yeah. in January. I was born in January. There's nothing. I know all my flaws. Every single flaw I have, I know it. And I'm working to fix it. So if you're a man and you come at me and you don't know your flaws, and you don't know your flaws, you know, like if I tell you a flaw, you start acting like you don't know it's your flaw. You start fighting me like it's not obvious that this is a problem you have. Then it's not going to work. Because I also want a very honest man. And for me, honesty is very black and white. Honesty is very black and white. If you, are, if you tell a lie, don't try to twist it like it's not a lie. I will tell you the lie. I think you need to follow my page so that we get to talk more. I'm not sure why. But because we see, need more conversation around this. Well, I'm not sure why. You have to make a point to me. Why do, I, why do we need to talk more? But because I'm here, you know, you say you're single, you want to get married. I'm here trying to find your wife, but you're not even open to that. So why do you think we need to have another I'm conversation? My shirt on you, you know. It's not possible. It is. I'm not going to have a baby. It is possible. Oh, 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 oh. So, you are telling me you're a delusional man? Because I don't understand it. No, I'm told you, how are you going to do? Put a gun to my head and force a baby out of me? 
No, the baby conversation, it's it's gonna be ongoing. It's not. I won't, it's not even, I won't even date a man who is thinking the way you are thinking. I won't even go on a first date with that man. Yes. Because that means you are delusional. Someone is telling you the truth, you don't want to believe it. That not means you don't even value oh, honesty. Oh no. How can oh, we no. how can we move you know, on? We can't move on from here. Something you yes. said that uh you, you you said something about surrogacy? I wouldn't do it. I told you I would do that earlier, but right oh, now, I wouldn't you... even let anybody take my eggs. No. Oh. Even adoption, Seth. Adoption. Unless I marry a multi-millionaire, I will not even adopt a child. A multi Because it takes a lot of money. A multi-millionaire is less than a billion. I know. You're talking... But if have, if I if I, if, I, if, I, if it's a multi millionaire, then he can afford to make me a mother, even to an adopted child, because that means he can afford like two or three nannies, you know that kind of thing. I'm not, I'm not, uh -uh. I'm, 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 I'm putting my work. I'm done my bit for this world. I'm not going to wake up at night because of another human being. But my my second son now, hmm? just to, just for you to understand where I'm in life. And I've worked hard to get where I am in life. So marriage for me is going to be two is better than one. Marriage for me is good. I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm a dead Jesus. Nobody is going to bring hellfire into my life and make it look like heaven. Impossible. Marriage for me is going to be two is better than one. So I know where I am now as one. Yeah. My husband yeah. is going to make sure that two is better than one. Uh, Where I'm now uh, as one is this. This semester, hopefully it's only for this semester, but maybe this whole school year. I have a 15-year-old son. He's in a special school, which means that he cannot walk to school. His school is no more around the corner. A uh, bus needs to take him to school because his school is 30 minutes away in, in our big city. 